Hello everyone, welcome to another video. As of the Fishing Festival update, the Rod of Legends is no longer the best rod. It's been replaced by the Rod of the Sea, the direct upgrade of it using Great White Shark Teeth and Enchanted Shark Fins. This rod combines the strengths of the Rod of Legends and the Shredder and amplifies them, making it the superior rod for fishing. Let's get right into it. Similar to every other item review I've done in the past, the first thing is stats. So, the Salty Rod of Legends, keep in mind it has Salty, so it gets 5 more Sea Creature Chance, gives 21 Sea Creature Chance. However, this isn't very accurate, per se, because it has Angler 6, which adds 6, and also has Expertise 5, which adds 5. So, this is with Expertise 5, Angler 6, and Salty. To get a better look at the rod, here is it completely clean. No Expertise, no Angler, no salty. It gives 100 damage, 7 sea creature chance, and increases fishing speed by 75%, which 75% is the same speed as the shredder, and 5 more than the rod of legends. The sea creature chance is also 1 higher than the rod of legends 6. If you didn't know, most of the fishing rods in the game come from lily pad collection. There is one rod that you continuously upgrade until you get the rod of the sea. It starts off with the Challenging Rod at Lilypad 5, which is a regular fishing rod with 8 stacks of regular lily pads. It has 2 sea creature chance and 50% fishing speed. Then, you take that Challenging Rod and make it a Rod of Champions, which gives 4 sea creature chance and 60 fishing speed, and is crafted with the Challenging Rod, upgraded with 8 enchanted lily pads. Then, you take that Rod of Champions and turn it into a Rod of Legends. The Rod of Legends used to be the best rod in the game, with its 6 sea creature chance and 70 fishing speed. It has used the Rod of Champions and 2 stacks of enchanted lily pads. However, because of the fishing festival, the Rod of the Sea is now the next direct upgrade of the lily pad fishing rods. The Rod of the Sea is crafted with a Rod of Legends, 4 enchanted shark fins, and 4 great white shark teeth. This is extremely expensive, costing the Rod of Legends an upwards of 15 million with all of these rare shark drops. The Fishing Festival is not only a huge impact on the economy, creating new talismans, new armor, and etc., but it replaces the top dog for fishing gear. Diver's armor used to be the best, now it's shark scale. Rod of Legends used to be the best, now it's Rod of the Sea. The whole tides have turned, and now there's a new top dog in town, the shark set. I would go ahead and say that even the Megalodon pet, the new shark-related event pet, is better than the dolphin. That would just be lying. The Megalodon pet is absolute garbage. You get 10 magic find, which I guess is decent. You get 50 strength. You deal extra damage based on the enemy's missing health, which is just kind of useless. You don't need damage while you're fishing. And then, Enhanced Scales is probably the only good perk on this thing. It increases the stats of Shark Armor by 20%, which increases the Sea Creature Chance on it. And then, Fishing Frenzy, on kill, gain damage and speed for 5 seconds. Like, you don't need damage for fishing. Yet again, why do we need 50 strength, an increased percent of damage, and strength and speed? You're literally standing in one place with a fishing rod. You don't need damage. If you go to Doctor's Twitter, the leak of this pet, before it was even released, shows that one of its abilities increases the chance to get teeth during the festival, which is literally the only good perk on this pet. And on release, they removed it. They took away the one ability that actually made it useful, because you don't need damage. Increasing the stats increases the sea creature chance by like 1 to 2, where you could just use dolphin and get like 15 extra. I just don't understand the point of this pet. Uh, side note, they did fix the shark scale die issue. It is now dark blue, and any armor that was crafted within the first day is now exclusively rare, as it's still yellow. Which is pretty cool if you ask me. Alright, enough chit chat about the shark update. Let's get into the rod of the sea. So, big thanks to Scrafty M. I'll put his uh, Sky Shimo on screen. He's a really good player, he's my friend, and he let me lend this for the video. Because um, I'm poor, because I bought shark armor. But, uh, thanks to him. So, the Rod of the Sea, with Expertise 5, which is, you know, it's a pretty average level. It's a pretty good level to base it off of. And then, Angler 6, of course, and Salty. 
So another reason this rod is better than the Rod of Legends is it's a legendary rarity. So you get two extra sea creature chants from Salty. So while wearing my shark scale armor, which gives 10, while using this rod, which gives 21, and I'm going to equip my epic dolphin level 71. With It doesn't have the uh, fishing pet item. I don't remember what it's called, but it gives 5. So it, I don't have that. It's level 71. It's epic. Whatever. So if we hold the rod and we have the armor on and the pet, we get 62 sea creature chance, which is actually really good, considering that my armor isn't renowned, so I don't get the percentage increase, and my pet isn't maxed, or even close to it. Alright, so I'm going to be using um, fish bait, and I'm just going to be, I mean, testing it out. I mean, what other, what else is there to show? I'm just going to use the rod. It's actually, okay, that was actually faster than I thought. That was really fast, what? That's, like, noticeably faster than my Rod of Legends. Like... I'm not exaggerating here, like, I feel like this is faster, and 5% doesn't sound like a lot. This feels, like, quite a bit faster, not gonna lie. Alright, let's talk about pricing. So, to get this rod all the way up to the Rod of the Sea, you have to upgrade it four times. So you have to get the regular fishing rod and get lilies, which is the cheapest part. It's less than 200,000. Then you have to get eight of these, which is uh, 400,000, so that makes it around 600,000 total. Then, to make it the Rod of Legends, you need two stacks of these, which is at an all-time high right now. So it's 6 mil on top of that. Well, 6.4. So it's about 7 mil to get it there. Wait, what? S 7 mil? Why are the prices like this? It's not that... Wait, no way. There's no way. It's like 7 mil from Bazaar. And it's 8 mil here! What a scam. Alright, whatever. So it's like, let's just say 8 mil, because that's what it's being sold for on the auction house. And then, you have to go to Fishing Festival, buy 8 of these, which would be 3.2, uh, 3.2 mil-ish. And then you gotta get 4 Great White Shark Teeth, which if we place a buy order, not like anyone's insta-selling these, but at the best price, it's 13.8. So, that's what, 16, 17 mil, plus the Rod of Legends. So, 25, 25, 28. I mean, if you look on auction, Rod of the Sea, it's currently lowest bin, 23. Yo, what? This changed so fast. Yo, did lily pads just crash? Before I was recording this, this rod was like 35 mil. What? Did lilies crash? I don't even know. Like five minutes before this recording, I looked at the price and lowest bin was like 30 mil. And now it's 23. Yo, this might actually be worth it. Like I said, I originally believed that the Shark Armor and the Rod of the Sea were purely cosmetic, honestly. Who's gonna pay 30 mil for an armor set and 30 mil for a rod? That's 60 mil for a slight fishing chance increase. But, the Rod of the Sea just crashed to like 10 mil lower than it should be. So, honestly, the Rod of the Sea is worth it. I still don't think Shark is that worth it, but Rod of the Sea? Probably worth it. You could chill with Dyer's Armor and a Rod of the Sea, and you'd, you'd be going gold. If you weren't aware, the better the rarity, the better the reforge. That's just how it works. And if you, another thing you might not have known is that the difference between rarities scales as you go up. So the difference between common and uncommon isn't that much, but the difference between legendary and mythic is huge. Salty or treacherous, they give the same amount of sea creature chance. So the fishing reforges on a legendary rod give five but on a mythic they give seven that's two whole more so another positive benefit it's base a legendary so when you recombob it it gets seven which is obviously a positive buff final thoughts this rod is awesome this rod's great rod of the sea it's awesome it's the best fishing rod in the game shark armor is the best fishing armor in the game if you want to fish or if you're heading for Fishing 50, or you just like it, you think it's cool, go ahead and buy it. Honestly, Rod of the Sea, it's really awesome. The only thing it's missing is a particle trail like literally every other rod. I'm not mad, I'm not salty, but look, when you cast the Shredder, it makes like a red, green, and white thing. When you cast the Rod of Legends, it makes a purple trail. When you cast the Legendary, the Rod of the Sea, the final fishing rod in the game, 
It makes nothing, literally nothing. I have particles on to the highest volume, and there is nothing here. I think I'm blind. On a more wholesome note, thank you guys so much for the support. And I mean it. Like, I went to sleep, and then when I woke up, the video had a thousand views. I'm talking about the fishing festival video, by the way. I got a thousand views while I was sleeping. When I woke up, I literally, like, I freaked out. I didn't know what to do. I also got, like, 60 subscribers from just the one video. I went from around 90 to, like, I think about 150. I'll put a screenshot of all the things I'm talking about, by the way. I thought that my hypercleaver would always be my best video because I got 900 views on the hypercleaver video. And I thought that was going to be, like, the best video. That was the quality video. I actually really like the Hypercleaver video. And then, once I released the Spirit Boots video, I thought that was going to be the top. It got way more views faster, but then it started to decline. But now, the Fishing Festival video got so many views. I can't thank you guys enough. One update and I get 60 subscribers? What is this? But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you all. Thank you for commenting and giving positive feedback. I always accept it. And have a good rest of your day. By the way, while I was recording this, I got Expertise 6 on this rod. So, Scrafty, I'm paid me big bucks. I got one more tier on your enchant.